Hey everyone, it is final exam time in academic land, and so boy have I been making a number of final exam plans. And you know, I have a certain kind of client who says, oh, I don't wanna make plans because I won't follow them and I'll just be so disappointed with myself. And I often tell them, you know what? Plans are meant to be made, not necessarily always to be followed. And today I was talking to a client about his um, follow through with a plan we made last week. And sure enough, he just didn't do a number of the things that we said he would do. Now, um, well, let me give you a visual first. This is an example of the kind of plan I like to make. Um, I'm gonna give you a close up in just a second. You'll see it's broken down by week with the final exams at the last week. I have noticed um, that many, many clients prefer to hand draw. Uh, we, I sometimes work in Google spreadsheets as well, but um, hand drawing, one of my clients said, makes it feel more real um, to him. So anyway, that's one reason. And ah, you'll notice that there are pictures too in places. Anything to make the final exam plan kind of fun or at least, you know, anti-boring. So here's the deal though. The client who didn't follow through with his plan, it's because he didn't realize that on Saturday he's a singer and he had two concerts instead of one. And so of course he couldn't follow his plan. It's not his, well, it was his fault that he didn't realize. And that's something we'll try and build into the next, um, our plan next semester. But for right now, you know, life happens and we can't always do the things we say we'll do. So I asked him though, are you glad we made a plan? Did it help you in the study process? to have made a plan even though you didn't end up following it. And he said a few things. He said, yes, I'm, and this is a, a, um, a junior in high school. He said, yes, um, I'm learning how to structure my time. So it's valuable to me to practice making plans with you. He also said, um, when I sit down to make a plan, I get a sense of how behind I am or am not. <laughs> And I said, oh, but then you might, you sometimes leave our sessions a little bit more stressed than you were when you came into them. Um, is that a good thing? And he said, well, it, it motivates him to take action. So, I mean, stress isn't great. And I do try and help people to have less stress during their semester. But sometimes we need that little bit of stress to just motivate ourselves to take action. And plans can help us do that even if we don't follow through. So those are some of his reasons why he thinks planning makes a difference, even if you don't follow the plan. And I would love to hear if you have some any, or some additional reasons why, and you have noticed planning makes a difference in your life, even if um, life gets in the way and makes you have to do something different than you planned. Let me know, email me at Gretchen at GretchenWegner.com or you can um, comment on the blog, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.